Hi, Robin with OxyDry, and uh, I've got a just a nice little suite I'm doing today. Um, there's 444 square feet in total here. This is an olefin, um, a loop, level loop carpet, and um, overall it's actually not in bad shape, but it is kind of blotchy looking because it can, it's obviously been steam cleaned and it's uh, wicked somewhat. Um, but overall, actually, it just doesn't look that bad. There's a couple of, uh, that's a melted mark right there, and I think that one over there also is. Um, other than that, there's not too many real obvious spots. These are, these spots are all pre-treated. And, um, so I'll just show you the suite. And, uh, I'm, uh, just parked across the road from a construction site, so we might hear some noise, background noise, and this is a pretty busy road here so might be hearing that <clears throat> the windows are all open so uh, that's the living room and uh, then the hallway and you can see by the way the carpet is buckled here and there in the living room but as well as well and right along this edge it's a buckle not a not a dirty spot just a kind of a shadow there's a the carpet actually takes quite a quite a dip right here so uh, it actually could do the tightening for sure um, little bedroom in here and uh, then uh, another room here a little bit of buckling right here again um, that's a t not an unusual thing to see when uh, carpets been um, over wetted uh, some carpets are uh, more uh, hmm, close the doors don't open anymore enforce it <laughs> anyway um yeah if if you uh, carpet gets uh, steam cleaned uh, it's not unusual to see this buckling effect happen because the carpet got overweighted um, it may not not have been tight enough in the first place but uh, you can actually see little ripples all the way down the hallway here so maybe it wasn't stretched in tight enough either anyway um so Oh, I just, I just saw a piece of gum there. I hadn't seen it. Just saw the shine there. Anyway, um, I will deal with that. Let's have a look. And for that, I have there. Yeah. I find this actually works pretty well, actually. Um. And we're just going to apply a little bit of that to there. <coughs> I'm going to park that over here for a minute. Just going to score the gum. It'll get in there. pretty uh, much easier if you do that actually it's coming off I'll leave it to sit for a minute um, and I just wanted to show how much I picked up with the vacuum so uh, what am I a third of the way up mostly skin as usual and uh, I'm going to be cleaning the carpet using a two-step process. I'll be um, applying the solution, scrubbing it in using the hog's hair fiber pad, which I have just uh, hooked up the machine to. And let's just go for a little a little ride here and uh, actually I'm gonna grab my uh, spot right over here okay there we go spotter towel 
Hello. How be you? Good. I just vacuumed. I haven't started cleaning yet. Oh. <laughs> really? Not yet. Just so vacuumed. That bad or? Not really. Okay. Just, you can see what's in the vacuum there. Okay. Oh yeah. So first thing I do is just vacuum everything. Yeah. That's proper cleaning, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Okay, so, so then... Um, so now I'm actually starting to clean. Okay. Just about okay. to start. So I'm going to go back next door then okay. and check on my emails because I'm okay. sure they're going more ish, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then I'll come back later. I already snipped all the loose yarns off for you too. There was a Thank whole you. row of them across the hallway there, eh? Okay. Yeah, I got them all up. I didn't notice that. So. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably have to do this edge over here by hand, which is fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get in there and get that out of there for you. You're welcome. <laughs> this again is a, kind of looks like it's uh, dipped down Oops, into the. Uh, there we go. It's actually really dark there. That's just coming out really easy though. So here's my towel here and. Might as well clean that baseboard right there, because it's kind of, uh, looks like a spill up against the edge. Anyway, that came out no problem. And a little bit over here too. And I wouldn't be able to get in there with the machine because it drops down about half an inch, which is a little bit weird. Like they didn't put the smooth edge close enough to the wall. Not sure why they would do that. No problem. It came out. No problem at all. Okay. So. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay. So yeah, that black mark there is uh, is a melt mark. Looks like an iron, actually. We can't get milk marks out of the carpet. This is an all-often, and it does have a very uh, low melting point. You can even melt it by uh, dragging uh, something across the carpet, say with metal feet, like a, a table or a chair or something like that. You can actually leave uh, uh, um, melted lines in the carpet. down there that's a very obvious it looks like a cigarette burn See there's a see the ripple there and a ripple over there. Ripples over here.
little bit of fiber wear, wear over there as well, where the coach obviously was sitting. I don't know how old the carpet is. Uh, it must be a, I would guess it's at least five years old. Not a bad carpet actually, it's a good wearing carpet. The all up in level loops or Berber. Okay. There was a little mark there, which uh, is now gone. And uh, there's a bit of a mark there. I'm not sure if that's a melt or not. I'll give it a little bit of extra Argo. And a little bit of extra scrub a dub. can still see it a little bit. So you know, what I can do is I can, I'm actually healing the machine just slightly, which puts a little more weight onto the leading edge there. And I'm changing direction. This is one of the uh, tricks of using these machines. And one of the reasons why they will work better than an orbital in these scenarios because I can uh, concentrate the agitation the way I want to and orbitals because they're moving in every direction will be will actually kind of worry the yarn and that's why um, particularly with the, uh, the ones with a smaller orbit are more prone to tip blooming and even the larger orbit ones will, because the yarn, longer the yarn, the more likely that'll happen. But, uh, all right. And that'll make people mad for me to say that. Oh, where's the gum? Oh, I see it. Okay. Almost forgot about the gum. All right, let's have a look. Well, this carpet actually is, it's actually delaminated. In order to get to that, you have to, uh, you really have to get it wet. I can tell now that it is. It's actually a very weak feeling right here. Down the drain. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can actually see the, oh, I can feel it now. Yeah, you can really feel that that's, that's scorched. I cannot fix that. You cannot fix that. That's too bad. And it's a pretty obvious plot, too. <laughs> Anyway, um, and I see there's this little spot right over here. Oh, that's some sort of glue or something. I can feel there's some sparkles in it. Sparkle glue. Hmm. All right. 
Well, we have something for that, I think. This will probably work. Very good stuff. Horribly expensive. I don't know of anyone else that makes a product that works quite as well as this. Anyway, roll tile dry solvent. Let's we'll see if that works. It's not, it's not actually working. Hmm. Ain't that interesting. It's not breaking it down. It feels almost uh, almost gooey, but it's not actually dissolving it. Okay, we'll go back the other direction then. I'll try this. It's uh. Probably, yeah. Not working. No, no, it isn't. It actually does look a No, it's not really working. Hmm. Some sort of a glue. Okay. There's things you can't get out. As it turns out. So. I'll switch over. To the Iron Man. It's actually not that, ob that obvious, but... Anyway, Okay, but overall the carpet looks uh, really nice, except for that kind of obvious melted mark. But you can't unmelt the carpet. So many people understand that. It's a really nice day today, and on my way over, I noticed there was uh, a lot of people out riding their bikes. I don't even have a bike. I used to have a motorbike. For about five years, I uh, rode every day, all year, even in winter. In I've <laughs> even riding home in the snowstorm. That's fun. Went backwards off the road once because I hit a patch of ice. I was going really slow though. 
because I knew the ice was there, but uh, oh, it was fun to arrive at work in the morning with my face frozen solid and I couldn't actually speak for a few minutes till it warmed up enough. That was in Victoria actually, so uh, you can get away with doing that in Victoria, usually. Coastal, uh, you know, on Vancouver Island, so surrounded by the uh, ocean. Doesn't usually get that cold, but anyway, five years I had, uh, oh, well, three or four motorbikes, I guess. Best one was my 82 RD350. What a screamer that was. All race prepped. Man, that thing was fast. Nothing could catch me. Dangerous little machine, but oh boy, was it fun. And then I had a 750, oops, 750 F, um, 82 again, actually. Uh, and it was a really nice machine. But there's uh, two kinds of motorbike riders. Those who have been down and those who are going down. And I became uh, one of those ones that uh, never went down. So <laughs> I guess you could say I survived those years. It's not so much yourself that's the danger, or you can be, but it's everybody on the road that... is your greatest concern, everybody else. This seems to be blind to your existence. I think there's another one of those blue uh, marks on the rug here. Of course, I already vacuumed and detailed all the edges there. So, something kind of weird going on over here. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here. Oh, it's a, like a little worn patch. Oh, no, it's melted. Oh, I can feel it now. Yeah, even through the glove. Uh, okay, it's a, a scorch mark, actually. There's the, uh, the rippling effect going on here, which uh, probably was caused by, or, or at least ex ex accentuated by overwetting with steam cleaning. I'm here. 
Bize pendula kılacak. I'm actually uh, doing a little bit of uh, trigger spraying there, crossways. <laughs> um, I think this was the main bedroom. A little bit more wear on this one. You can see the outline of the bed a little bit more. Okay, and behind the door. So my, I'm actually guiding the machine with my left hand. So easy that is. So easy to maneuver these machines. That's another one of the reasons why it's a preferred machine for myself as opposed to uh, orbitals. I've owned them. Just too clumsy and awkward in houses. You can't do the maneuvering that you can with this uh, rotary. And uh, rotary is just a better choice for every way in every way but those who make rotor, uh, orbitals will disagree with that of course but I don't sell rotor, orbitals so I got no extra grind I just want a machine that works the best for me and that's why I choose what I've got here and I can out clean orbitals with my rotary and I know that makes people mad when I say that that's okay it's time for people to stop drinking the Kool-Aid you know what I mean you know there's many that have and a lot of them have actually communicated with me their thoughts on that And have communicated their thoughts on that on various bulletin boards too. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. Some people like Fords and some people like Chevys. Hello. That's all done. Perfect. May have that <laughs> There's uh, that mark over on the left side there. This one here? That one you can see, that's melted. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks okay. like maybe an iron or something. Okay. Can't fix that. Sorry. No, no worries. I'll mark that down for them to know. Like, yeah. The, the, the okay. So, I'm nearly done, as you can see. That's the customer just came in, of course. If I can you do this before you leave, can Who's you just knock on the, like, the house next door? Okay. The whole yep. house. Yep. Um, if you just knock on, because I'm working upstairs. Okay. Yeah, all mayhem broke out while I was out. Okay. So, thanks. 
Yep. Property is coming up nice. Um, and uh, uh, of course, I'm um, cleaning with Nanomax, a uh, green cleaning solution with a health, health rating of zero. And 97% um, food grade plant ingredients. And it includes, as part of its green ingredients. Hang on a sec, I'm binding here. Oh, hooked my uh, back here. <laughs> um, it includes a, um, a soil um, retardant protector, anti-resoiling protector. So that's all part of the cleaning. And I also add CLO2 to the cleaning solution. CLO2 is a hospital grade disinfectant, deodorizer, sanitizer, kills germs, bacteria, and viruses on contact. It's an uh, anti allergen, uh, neutralizes allergens from plants and animals and dust mites. And um, very effectively removes odors without adding an odor so it doesn't leave a perfumey smell around and uh, as it evaporates it uh, reverts back to carbons and water so it leaves no residue as well as, a, as the Nanomax is a non-residual cleaner as well so so we get uh, the best kind of cleaning you can possibly get as all this is included as part of our normal cleaning. I won't need to go into the closet or anything like that. The fiber pad did enough in there. And I won't... Uh oh, I see a little spot there. I think... I'm not sure if that's a spot or if that's in the pattern. I think it's actually the pattern. Anyway, I'm almost done. So, uh, 30, 33 minutes to clean 444 square feet. Two stage or two step process. If I had done a single stage, just with the uh, Iron Man, it would have taken me 15 or 20 minutes, I guess. So, I'm not trying to go fast. And that's it. Done deal. Alrighty, I'll let you go.